This is the number three winged elevator. Shorter handle to provide more control for both the small and the large hand. Bigger bulb to provide more comfort and more power with the instrument. The bulbed end goes into the palm of the hand. The fingers grasp firmly and then the forefinger chokes up on the handle to provide control as well as power. The bulb is in line with the palm, which is in line with the wrist, which is in line with the forearm. I get a lot of push and a lot of power as I can oscillate in one motion to get deeper down between the root and the bone into the periodontal ligament space, as well as applying twist and hold. The number three size will be ideal for larger teeth such as the maxillary canine and even the mandibular canine tooth of the cat. I'm going to take the number three winged elevator, put the bulb in the palm of the hand, grasp firmly and choke up with my finger. And then I take the instrument, the sharpened blade, and I go between the root and the bone into the periodontal ligament space and I push in as I oscillate back and forth. I get between the root and the bone and then I can apply twist and hold to help stretch and fatigue the periodontal ligament fibers. I can carry this on deeper and deeper down toward the apex of the tooth and I want to make sure I do that around the entire circumference of the tooth. Pushing in, oscillating, and then applying twist and hold to stretch fatigue, and even sever the periodontal ligament fibers to loosen up this tooth. And I'll take the freshly sharpened blade, insert it between the root and the bone, pushing in as I oscillate deeper and deeper toward the apex of the root. When I get in and get good purchase, then I can apply gentle twist and hold to stretch and fatigue the periodontal ligament fibers can get more and more penetration by pushing in and oscillating and continuing to hold on the tooth. I want to make sure that I go the entire circumference of the tooth. When we get movement here on the mesial aspect of the tooth and get some penetration, then we can withdraw and go to the opposite circumference of the tooth, working down between the root and the bone on the distal aspect of the root.